through scenes allow yeah. Charlie to be disciplined to be memorizing combos yeah. for care for the characters that he uses, and that goes into play in uh, who he is as a player. Yeah, and that reminds me of Nito too, because I noticed, you know, the kind of difference in, in posture that him and other players have. Like Nito is just very like, um, I don't want to say stiff, but like just very like a. Um, in control, yeah. like physically, he's like other people like slouch and they're like leaning. Yeah. He's he just like the no. same way that I feel like Shinee does, <laughs> very yeah. relaxed. Yeah, there's like a handful of players that have that posture. Yeah. Proper posture not only when walking but when sitting is very important. It's yeah. also very important to remember proper posture allows you to breathe better and breathing will also keep your brain healthy and in check. Yeah. You hear that, kids? And if your brain is healthy, you're definitely thinking a lot more often too as well. Always remember to breathe. Yeah. Let's go in here because the <laughs> only people who are going to be breathing here is Charlie. Oh, He's man. got Nito a little bit of press at the 94% into the shore. You know, kill just yet here. Yo, is this brave that he's going Ryu? Because you got Ken, and I mean, he's pretty good at Terry, right? Like yeah. Nito. So, like, he's, I mean, what's the consensus on, on Ryu? Uh, the way that Nito has explained it to me is in certain matchups, he feels Ken does a lot better. The one thing here is that Tatsu has changes up for both Ken and Ryu. Ryu's Tatsu actually kills versus Ken, which is a multi hit. Yeah. Not only that, Ryu gets. Yeah. Not only that, Ryu gets access to that, the actual, like, uh, the EX fireball. Oh, yeah. And Nita's really good at, like, uh, just. Uh, I mean, any good uh, Ryu main will, or Ken main will place those projectiles really nicely and, like, mix up the, the speed. But Nito does it in a way that it's like, there's no throwaway uh, mm -hmm. projectile. I like the fact that he's going for the, e, the aerial EX fireball simply because it calls off Charlie for going for a lot of things that Wolf likes to go off in the air. Things like running in air, back air, forward air. All those good combo starters. Yeah, he's shutting them down, making sure that Charlie kind of has to be closer to the ground game. And we can see Charlie, if he's coming in, he's coming in with a fake uh, empty hop. Forward throw, tech chase, but he no dash attack confirmed. You know, he's already too far away. That's the most reflective action I've seen uh, on any move. Yeah. That was good blaster from Charlie because he forces Nito to come high. He's able to block and then look at the way the positioning that Charlie has changed up against Nito. Yeah, that was smash is nasty. Yeah, and it was really good because Charlie had already hit Nito off of the focus attack and then the landing on smash to take care of Rio's landing. I mean, you can't even grab that. Yeah. Like, I saw him in another match, like... Someone tried to grab the uh, wolf in the up smash. Not gonna happen. Oh, I saw Charlie kind of go for the IRL DI, kind of getting up from the seat. Oh yeah. Man, like yeah, everyone has their own style. Like like Charlie's like leaning in, Nito's just like same posture. And it's like you, you just gotta have your own true north. Yeah. You know? I would definitely agree with that one. <laughs> oh, that was too. Oh my Two tilts. And yeah, now he's tilted. Down throw. He's waiting for it. Good spacing here. I like the forward smash attempt, but I would have loved to have seen Charlie probably set up for a back end. Not necessarily that Nito might be trying to go for an aerial. Yeah. And like that forward smash has like no lag, so you can always like, you know, just follow up with something. Oh. I mentioned that. Go the back end. Yeah. He wasn't going to go for it the first time, but the second time will be the perfect position. Yeah. And yeah, it was like perfect. Like he just hopped over that, that uh, fireball. And just I do like boot. it too because at the, at some opportunities Nito probably thought Charlie was going to commit for like you said this is the most pr uh, reflectors you see in this game right yeah. Nito probably thought Charlie was going to commit to reflector there and this time Charlie mixes it up and sends him the back air for a bit of a change up. Yeah, and it wasn't even like that much of a developed like you know, like uh, conditioning that was happening. Mm -hmm. It kind of felt like oh oh he reflected that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think, you know. Oh, but see uh, now we got the Ken. Maybe he feels like uh, those trade-offs that Ken has might uh, serve him better in the wolf matchup. Yeah. What? One thing that I feel that Nito's also really good at doing too is corner carrying with down tilt from Ken because, like I mentioned earlier, the difference between Ryu and Ken is Ken's tats uh, Tatsumaki is actually uh, multi-hits and yeah. then Ryu's is only one hit. But one thing that also to understand for the Street Fighter aficionados, uh, Ken focuses more on kick moves rather than Ryu focusing on more like this space moves yeah. as well. Yeah, and it's like it's so annoying getting hit by that top seat from Ken and then like getting them getting a follow up. It's like Ooh, this shouldn't happen. Such a good one and a punishment for it too as well. If anybody was gonna be able to read that riff <laughs> That's gonna be neat. I'm sorry, I got lost in that one. Yeah. I mean like 
<laughs> Even like the the last KO, it was like, man, can't this guy get out? Like, he's, yeah. He's away. And I know Nito watches bots too, and he's very well aware of Charlie's mix-ups oh, there with the flash. He's posting bots too. Mm -hmm. He's playing a little clip on Twitter. Nice corner carry here. Charlie loses a lot of stage control. Back throw. Not gonna kill. Nice. He's gonna have to force a low recovery there against Nito here, and he spaces himself out there for the board tilt. No, oh, lost on that one. Yeah, Charlie's like struggling a little bit almost. Mm -hmm. What a change up, especially on stage on, on, on the final destination too, no platforms. Yeah, it's, a, it's that much more like intense to like, you know, like it's still like Ken and Ryu, or I don't know, just Kenny's like running away with like this flat ground. Yeah. Around the corner here. And all these trades are going to Nito. <clears throat> I feel like one thing that Charlie has to understand too, especially in this matchup, is kind of has to pull back just a little bit here when he's going for a lot of those dash attacks and is confirmed too, because there are opportunities where Nito can go for focus attack, and if Charlie is able to properly read that out, as he has not been able to, he'll probably definitely punish Nito much harder for it. Yeah, as well. it has to be a punish game because um, <clears> no. like Nito is just like having free reign with like you know his own punish game. Yeah, and like you said, Nito having free reign, Charlie had sacrificed a lot of the stage for Nito to have free reign come in here. Understand the spacing of backer and then punish Charlie for it. Yeah. I mean, does uh, Charlie just plays Wolf, right? He doesn't have any other secondaries that you like bust out like when he's having trouble. Mm -hmm. Uh, I know Charlie has gone Lucina a few times. Yeah, he's stuck with the with the Wolf. I don't know about his Lucina. He's a great player, but I think he's just you know trying to play his own play style and it's not working, and he's just he's used to like. Uh, yeah, just make those little adjustments. Mm -hmm. Like I always think, like uh, this game has no true combos, or less true combos, <laughs> but it's more like little mini combos, and then just like I facing advantage. I always try to say, people, um, I feel like people have every combo is true if your opponent holds the wrong DI. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> every combo is true if your opponent holds the wrong DI. That's just facts. Yeah. Definitely good, like, like it's all about follow-ups and yeah. just like uh, maneuvering, you know, the options. There's just so much more like potent in this game. I love it. I think yes, I'm talking about it. The only thing that we can't stop talking about here is Neo Shuri is too, because now Charlie is able to escape that only getting hit by the late hit. Charlie with the stock lead 99% on you. Puts on a lot of pressure, but he's Charlie still holding onto the shield. The shield is small, but it's gonna recover yep. by the time Charlie gets this combo here. All he needs is that one, that one hit. No tech, no tech, too. Oh, wow, yeah. Like and you said, he just needed one hit, but with Charlie not supplying the tech to survive that, that one hit was going to be enough. Yeah, and that, like, that up to bounced him so far up into that upbeat. Or, not an upbeat, because he does, like, the two and put time. Yeah. Three bread and butter combos from Nito, and that's uh, that's the stock. And it's interesting because I'm seeing like a lot of um, uh, Charlie kind of like go for things in raw neutral, <laughs> and Nito just like reacting to it. Nice use of forward air. This time he doesn't. Get the focus attack on the full flash to frame. Charlie brings Hello. it out there with the neutral air here, tying it up one apiece. I'm loving um, Charlie's two frames with those uh, four tilts because mm -hmm. he's using it against uh, I forget who, uh, I think Mas Mas Mario or Jason. But uh, the two frames really well, like uh, Mario's up yeah. without it's, getting hit. It's two hits and it's back. Like the two hits only have a one frame difference between where they activate. So it's really, it's a really, and not only that the range that Wolf has in it too, it's pretty well spaced. As long as you space it properly, you can even angle the forward tilt upwards, and, uh, straight forward and downwards as well. Yeah, it's, it's, Ooh, it's, it's a good move. Charlie Panic, I feel like Charlie Panic in the last second there, trying to go for a spot yeah, dodge, yeah. but the four. Yeah. A strong hit right there was going to be enough. Yeah, Charlie was really scared of uh, getting comboed into Shore Unido. Keeps the combo alive there, able to take out Charlie at the ledge. That opportunity, it felt like, like I said, Charlie was really pressured, but not only that, he felt 
really scary. He panicked the last yeah, time. That's what he spot dodged. He was uh, like, it's like that thing that people do when they're in the corner and they just like hop. Jump out of corners? Jump, yeah. Yeah, jumping out of, I've, I've mentioned it so many times. I've seen it so many times. Jumping out of disadvantage is prominent in so many games. You name it, it goes from Smash, Street Fighter, your enemy yeah. fighters, you name it, man. It is a number one tactic for people to try to get out of disadvantage, but you have to remember to kind of hold back yeah. because your opponent can call you. The, the first thing your opponent's going to be ready for is to call you out of that jump. Yeah. They're, they're already waiting for you on that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not a bad, not necessarily bad showing. Uh, I mean, like, uh, Charlie has the lead for most of the game. Mm -hmm. But, uh, I don't know, just, uh, it's that, that uh, Ryu Ken factor. Yeah. Gotta love it. He went for Reflector, and the M lag there was gonna be the enough to put, you know, right there at the leg of Charlie. Mm. Ooh. He's able to survive. I feel like Charlie had the right to end his pop the time, but the late hit of the short oh, is not gonna be enough. It's that's, actually gonna that's be enough. Just rude. It's like when, when Cloud Main just up the over and over again and it goes every time. Hey man, if it don't broke, don't fix it. Sorry, if it's not broke, don't worry about fixing it. Broken clocks are right twice a day. Facts. Yep. And it looks like Nito was right that second time here. Probably with the parry, looking to try to keep up here with Nito. I feel like he's trying to ride momentum slowly. I see uh, uh, Charlie like developing a little bit better DI to mm -hmm. stay out of these uh, combo starters. <laughs> Not only developing better DI too, but I feel like Charlie is really trying hard to get a lot of adva advantage here to force an even bigger gap between him and Nito and then have Nito more on the back foot. Yeah, there's, there's more of like a, a plan emerging. Mm -hmm. It was pretty much somewhat paced here, but now Charlie is looking to play a little bit more of the aggressor. Nice, gets a cross up with the back, he tries to go for the low one too, but unfortunately Nito was nowhere to be found. Yeah, I feel like he was trying to go for that like uh, that sneaky back air. Mm -hmm. I don't know if he was trying to like, contest the upbeat, but that would be cool. I mean, with this game, I don't think you'll ever be able to see it all. Core throw, nice. Oh, he had the right opportunity here, but unfortunately, like, that was not gonna be the call here. I mentioned that Charlie wants to have that gap between him and Nito here in the in the stock here between these two players here is pretty crucial for Charlie. And they're looking to come back on the stage using the Shoryu. Yeah, mm -hmm. and the get up. Charlie could definitely use that. Yeah. Also at high percent you do find it lose invincibility. Nito is not gonna lose it there, but oh the tackery from Charlie as well. That was a great shield right after the dash attack, because that could have been stock with that uh, up tilt that Nito did. Oh, the Hadouken was enough. <laughs> I feel like it, I feel like it was just enough to put Charlie to go for the lower cover, but either way, Wolf Flash or Wolf Fire was not going to be enough to reach the ledge either way. Yeah. Man, it's such, like Wolf's such a good character and he has like the funniest, crummiest like offstage game. Charlie used a little bit of footsies there at the ledge to kind of confuse Nito. Good parry from him. The shield pressure is going to let Charlie let go, but it's also a shield poke as well. Wow, uh, that side B hits on stage and then he grabs ledge. Is that like a thing or is that... It seemed like, you know, it happened just because Nito was right at the ledge and the mm -hmm. shielding. Or? Also because, like, uh, eventually it'll shield poke. The, the smaller your shield gets, the more you're prone to get the shield poke as well. But also Charlie, it's possible that Charlie did let go, fearing a broken shield there. I mentioned how Charlie wanted oh. the deficit, but unfortunately it wasn't even enough in terms of percent. Nito gets a back air and punches in his ticket to win his finals. Charlie being sent to lose 